Chapter 130, Brother Han Yi, please glorify our pure Yang Peak. 3. Also, he has a hidden trump card, so be careful. Chu Shan Yu relayed all the necessary information to Han Yi, calming his nerves somewhat. She fluttered her husky eyes underneath her veil and said, though you are not. Short on the quota from the Golden Cicada Secret Realm, winning will undoubtedly bring many benefits. The elders would then pour all their resources into nurturing you. Winning more is naturally better, understood. He'll wait for you over there. After saying so, Chu Shan Yu smiled faintly and went to one of the viewing platforms. Han Yi, what's going on with you? At this time, a woman in a robe, her arms crossed. On her chest and eyes filled with discontent, suddenly appeared in front of Han Yi. Upon seeing that it was his senior sister, Shen Yuxiang, Han Yi hurriedly greeted her. Senior sister hi a senior sister, why are you pinching me? Shen Yuxiang's jade-like fingers clamped onto Han Ye's waist and twisted deeply. Even with the unrivaled tyrant body, Han Ye could feel the pain. She sternly asked in a low voice, When did you hook up with Miss Chu and why didn't you tell me? I've wasted so much effort matchmaking you with several female cultivators. Senior sister Shen withdrew her hands, her face was unkind. With a bitter look on his face, Han Yi tried to explain, Uh, senior sister, Miss Chu is not my Tao companion. I think you might have misunderstood. And you, stop worrying about me so much, my turn is still far, no need to rush. You young man, Shen Yuxiang's eyebrows rose in anger, she cried out in a sweet tone, ready to scold him. Senior sister, they are calling me. I need to go on the stage. Han Yi immediately slipped away and walked up to the ascending immortal platform. The platform had been occupied by a senior disciple from the inner sect, the head disciple from God Cultivation Peak, Si Yuantu. He was an older disciple who had joined God Cultivation Peak six years ago. His realm had remained within the fully accomplished foundation building stage. He hadn't wanted to break through foundation building, hoping to use the Golden Cicada secret realm treasures to increase his golden core potential, hence his lack of advancement. Like him, disciples hesitant to advance were not uncommon. A golden core is a matter of one's entire life. Fifty breaking through had to be done with caution. The more rotations one had, the stronger the golden core. Not just empty words. This was the first time Han Yi was faced with an opponent who was two minor realms above him. Even though God Cultivation Peak, the main peak of Dragon Sparrow Sex Talisman Making Tradition, was not perceived as significant. As a matter of fact, most of the talisman inscriptions in the sect were actually from God Cultivation Peak. With Han Yi stepping onto the stage again, the elders from the major peaks cast their gazes towards the ascending immortal platform. Clearly, they were all anticipating this match, curious about what tactics Han Yi would employ this time. The better Han Yi performs, the better it is for Dragon Sparrow Sect. A genius is considered a special resource for any power group. And it's even more so when it's someone with a special position like Han Yi. 51 Yuantu was tall and thin, with an odd maturity about him. His two long mustaches made him look somewhat like a respected elder. In reality, his age was only seven or eight years more than the normal disciples. He was dressed in a green robe, with a ring of dually hats hung around the collar. Han Yi didn't know what they were for. Si Yuantu had a pair of small eyes and was squinting with a grin. Han Yi, I've heard about you. Lately, you've been quite famed within the sect. You even managed to make the Grand Elder from Bihu Peak personally drop by Pure Yang Peak for consultation. I must admit that I admire you deeply. But now, you already have the quota to enter the Golden Cicada Secret Realm. Couldn't you spare a quota? Forgive my rudeness, but if you were to battle me, what do you think the odds are in your favor? 100%. Han Yi responded with a light smile. This was the first time he had met someone who talked more than himself. 100%, aren't you underestimating me too much? I've joined the inner sect six years before you did. Regardless of status, it wouldn't be excessive for you to address me as senior brother. Stop. Stop talking and let's just start, quit with the chit-chat. Han Yi signaled him to stop. I, Han Yi, am determined to be the number one in the inner sect. 
These words filled with fighting spirit echoed around, deeply inspiring the disciples from Pure Yang Peak. All of them were immensely excited, shouting out loud, Send your brother Han, please glorify our Pure Yang Peak. Brother Han Yi, please glorify our Pure Yang Peak. When Brother Han Yi makes a move, he will surely make a difference.